What's up guys, it has been more than a hot minute since I've seen you last. It is Saturday, October 29th at 8.38 p.m. I'm headed to the church. We're talking about three things in this video. It's a Sunday vlog, but three focuses. One, my electric kit is at the church. I wanna tell you why. Number two, I got new hi-hats from Sweetwater and Roland for the electric kit. Are they worth an upgrade? Are they cool? What do they do? And three, we're talking about drumsticks. I got a ton of sticks from Sweetwater. So, let's get into it. All right, made it to the church. Got to load in. Um, so the reason we're using the electric kit is because they are demoing and remodeling the sanctuary. So we're actually having church in the gym. This is at New Life St. Louis. It's funny, you know, I've been here for a year and a lot of people are still like, you're in St. Louis? Now I have been posting some stuff um, from Royalwood still. And the truth is that there's a lot of videos that I planned on releasing like if I did a whole set, maybe like I released one or two songs and then I was like, all right, I'm gonna save these for later when things get dry or you know, if I don't have a, a long time with content, but I was just going back through my unlisted videos and I have like 10 or 12 videos that I just never needed. So I was like, man, I need to drop these videos. So I am releasing some, sorry if that's confusing, but yeah, I'm in St. Louis. So I got a box here. This is a box from Sweetwater. So this has brand new Roland hi-hats and a bunch of sticks. Cause I'm gonna be talking about drumsticks. Um, that video is going to be later. I'll link it here. I'll put a card here when it drops, but yeah So I'm gonna get this inside not a lot of gear tonight backpack box for sticks and um, Hi-hats and my stick bag so we Get loaded in We're on the sanctuary Okay, so this is where we're having church right now. Um, we are in the gym of the church and it is stacked. Uh, and again, if you're not familiar with this kit, this is a kit I got from Sweetwater. This is my Roland kit. It is the TD27KV. I really like it. And um, I've got a fourth time, but we just have three times on it right now. So Roland and Sweetwater sent me some new hi-hats to replace those, so I'm not as familiar with what all that entails, I'm gonna figure out. That's gonna be in this box. Then we get some rehearsal going. Um, I don't know where the drum seat is, so I'll just steal a chair for now. But um, I gotta learn the set. I mean, I know the songs, but I'll work through the set. There's one IBC medley that we're doing. And in addition to that, um, I'm going to figure out if I can throw some GoPros up here, what I'm gonna do about that. Because for me at least, in this kind of setting, I'm probably not gonna use this camera at all. I'm just gonna use GoPros because, you know, I don't have any space where it can be out of the way, okay? If I stick a camera, you know, Sony a7 IV with big old lens over here, it's just too distracting. It just takes away. Whereas in a drum cage, I can tuck stuff in little dark corners. No one notices, no one sees. But with this being such an open aesthetic, I don't want there to be some massive camera that's obviously not for the stream. So I'm gonna throw up a GoPro, maybe two, if I can kind of sneak it in there, make it look somewhat inconspicuous. New way to do church, it's gonna be great. different sticks these are all the sticks I got from Promark I got, let, me, let me get down here like this from Sweetwater Promark sticks from Sweetwater so first of all I'm giving away a pack of sticks this is what I use just 5a um, this is the hickory forward what I like about this is it comes in a four pack and all of these sticks are pretty well weighted all together so you can what I do is I mark the ends of my sticks to know which ones are which and so these all work together so I'm giving this pack of sticks away Again, when that video goes live, I'll put cards to it and links. Um, but we've got uh, Maple Finesse 5A. These are like uh, round tip. I don't have all my terminology perfect right now. I need to brush up on it. Maple, it's a lighter wood. Forward 2Bs, massive sticks. 2Bs, hickory. We've got 
the five A's. We've got Rebound Fire Grain, five B's. We've got Shirakashi Oak, seven A's. We've got Hickory, seven A's. We've got uh, Forward, five A's. We've got their Raw Hickory, um, 747. So, got a bunch of different sticks. I'm gonna be talking about um, what sticks do you start with? What sticks do you use? What sticks are the best? What sticks are, you know, not good, good? It's all, a lot of it's very subjective, but I'm gonna go through how to decide where to start if you're trying to figure out what sticks to use. So, that's that. Now, uh, let's look at this hi-hat. I'm pretty stoked about this, um, but I have to be honest, I, I don't really know what to expect. Um, I haven't done a ton of research yet. I'm really excited to do so and figure out what this guy has to offer. Okay, so this is the Roland. Digital V Hi Hat VH 14D. Okay, so let's open this up and I will compare it to what I'm using. Gotta have sweet water candy. Okay, so. First major, major difference. All right, so this is the hi-hat that came with my TD27KV. So this is the bottom. There's not an actual bottom hi-hat, but it's this spring-loaded thing right here that the top hi-hat goes onto, and um, that kind of is this, I guess, a sensor or whatever way. So there's not a bottom hi-hat. Um, so this has a quarter inch out. This has a uh, quarter inch out. So those both go into two different inputs. So that is the current one. This is the new one. Again, I'm just figuring out this might not my full review, but this has an actual bottom hi-hat. So it's got a full set of hats. It's like 14 inches, I think it's full size. So this still has a uh, kind of a spring-loaded thing, so I'm not sure the impact of that. But this has uh, two quarter inch, like A and B from the top to the bottom. Like this is a quarter inch male to a quarter inch female. So those connect together, and then this has the digital out like the snare, so not sure what that does, but pretty cool. Okay, so this is another big question I always have, sorry my little light died, um, is like setup. You know, I'm not an electronic drums guy first, so sometimes I'm a little, you know, nervous that the setup is gonna be too much, but I just plugged this in, the digital, so my, uh, the brain of this kit has a third digital input, so just plugged it in and it literally said, you know, uh, digital input detected, go to setup, went to setup, it like literally has already assigned it to a hi-hat. So I literally just plugged it in and it's just a hi-hat, it just knows. So I'm not saying it's always gonna be the case, I don't know, but what I'm saying is I plugged it in, didn't have to do anything else, it knows that it's a hi-hat. So I've played this kit a fair amount, I'm gonna see if this feels any different. My uh, one minute assessment without knowing any of the tech behind it, how it works, other than just this digital, is the transition, you know, it's, I, I can't imagine how difficult is it to, to create that transition between close hi-hat to open it, right? This, this, I don't know, infinite just nuances. And I feel like this um, has a lot more, I guess, data in between the close and open. There's a lot more range. I can just feel a lot more natural the previous hi-hats like sound great, um, and it wasn't that they didn't sound good, it's just that these sound better. Like, it's almost like I didn't realize what I was missing in electric kit. I obviously know what I'm missing versus a, a acoustic kit, but for me, I have different expectations. So, since I'm not necessarily an electric kit guy, like first, I'm not looking for it to sound exactly like an acoustic kit. I'm coming in more like, I know this is what it's gonna be. Um, and I don't mean that's defeatist, it's just the way I approach it. So, but these, the transition between close and open, um, sounds really good, so I'm, I'm looking forward to digging into the tech. So I'm gonna do a full video on these hats. This is not that video. Sorry, I'll move on, because I gotta work on my material now. So I'm all set up, got the new hi-hats on, got the sticks out, checking those out. Now I'm gonna dig through um, the material for in the morning and get comfortable. I think that's gonna be my 
angle in the morning, my main angle is just going to be capturing kind of that wide shot right there. So it should work pretty well. And it's not really in that way that much, you know, as far as the whole kit's concerned, it's a pretty small piece. And I may stick another one, like a reels cam, right in here. I don't know. I'm working on that still. But still haven't started my material, and it's 940. This is how long it takes just to do the other side of things. Um, yeah, I'm going to set up, I'll check one more camera thing, and then I'm all done with um, that, and I can move on to practicing. I love this kit, especially as a practice kit, um, just in functionality like to work and rehearse. Obviously it's electric, so it's silent, but just the Bluetooth capability. I know it's not new, Bluetooth's not a new thing, but just the fact that I can sit down and just play from my phone without connecting anything and it just works, it just connects to the computer of the electric kit and I can independently adjust the music level and the kit level. It's just, it's a work of art. All right, that's a wrap for tonight. It is 10:35, and I'm headed home. I'll probably be back. I don't want to. I don't want to say anything too early, and then if I flake and come a little later and get a little more sleep, I don't want you guys to make fun of me. So I'll be here in the morning, probably a little bit before everyone. Now I think probably between 7 and 7:30, just get a little more time. Band calls at 8 o'clock. Hopefully, I have a drum thrown. I don't know. Otherwise, I'll be doing the two stack seat. Are you really a church drummer? If you've never played drums with a double stack chair. So yeah, um, we had like two weeks with acoustic drums in here. They had a, like a shield, but as you can imagine, it was wild in the gym. So um, I said, hey guys, let's use my kit. I got an electric kit in my garage. I use it for practice. I use it to make drum videos, but church can borrow it. So it's in here. I think the remodel is going to be, I don't know how long, towards the end of the year. I think we'll be back in here maybe beginning of the year. I'm not really sure, honestly. So, yeah, got some good rehearsal in. Comfortable with the setup. I got an SD card. So tomorrow morning, I've got an SD card in the side here. There goes my light again. I got an SD card in here in this slot. This um, brain takes an SD card. So I'm going to try to get like the stream mix or my inner mix plus a clean feed of the kit. So we'll see what happens. Now, they've been using um, Beach, the one of the built-in kits, Beachwood kit. And I'm not like crazy about it. Just the sounds myself on this kit but i'm also not really wanting to change anything because i don't know how they have it routed i'm thinking what they do is they've got like they have they have four um out so they have the master left and right out and they also have the direct outs Let me show you so the way they're running it i think is master out left and right and then direct out like kick and snare or something like that. So I don't really want to mess with anything because they've um, gone in and tweaked some of the um, like individual levels of some of the drums. So I don't know if that's like, you know, for instance, um, getting kind of like cymbals from the master left and right, and then kick and snare from the, you know, direct outs. I don't, I don't know. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is I haven't played in a couple weeks. Has been here for a couple weeks, and so I don't want to touch it. I'm just going to leave it because they've done some stuff. The sound guy, so. Uh, I'm not sure. We'll see how the like the tones, what they sound like. It's not going to be my choice of tones, but I also want to respect just the fact that they've worked on trying to dial it in for this room or whatever else they've got going on. So, yeah, I'll speak more to that, I guess, after we play and after um, I hear what it sounds like. But, I mean, it's not bad. The kick and snare sound good. Tom's a little interesting. The Beechwood Tom's and then the cymbals, I think they've edited those a little bit. Um, they sound better. I was like going a little bit bigger cymbals, so we've done that here on the kit. Um, but, yeah. Again, we'll be back in the morning, probably a little bit before the band call time, and I look forward to a great Sunday. Also, quick shout out to my Hercules clamp. I love this thing, man. It's literally just small enough to fit, there's my beautiful girls, it's just small enough to fit my uh, iPhone mini, and really, really sturdy, but it expands enough to fit an iPad. It's great, so love that thing. All right, it's Sunday morning. I've got some banding in my shot. I really don't know why. Um, Sunday morning back in here. It is now 750. I got here around 730. So I decided I'm going with this shot straight on and then I've got a reels cam tucked under the ride there. So the hope is that neither one of them are too conspicuous. This one kind of is but it's pretty low profile in general. So um, we're going to start at 8 this morning. 
it's raining really hard in different parts of St. Louis. And I think we may have had one band member that's got called into work or can't make it. So it's going to be interesting this morning, but looking forward to it. It's always going to be a good time whenever you can have church. Man, just got done uh, with church. It was an incredible service. Um, only ended up doing two worship songs and Pastor Bachelor preached an incredible message. So um, a couple of observations about the hi-hats. Um, first of all, they translated really well as far as like the variation. Now in my ears, the way we have it run, I felt like some of the symbols were kind of low, like hats and uh, my crashes were a little low in the mix. So I don't really know how they have it sent and routed. So you may hear that. The other thing is I feel like there's kind of like three like areas. Uh, again, I'm not exactly sure how the text broken down, but it's like closed and like semi open are pretty decent. And then like the wide open volume is a little higher. So I'm sure it's a setting. I just got to dig in there and figure that out. So you'll probably hear that as well somewhere in there. Um, but overall the hats feel great. Um, and again, it's, you know, it's definitely an adjustment playing on electric kit. But that was one of the first services playing on this kit, like in a live context. And honestly, like it felt really good. Like, you know, I obviously have to be more, um, if I could say obviously a couple more times, that would be great. I've got to be a little more controlled in my playing, dynamically, power. I don't want to put my foot through the little kick tower. Um, but everything else really felt good. The whole service felt great. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Um, if you're new to my channel, I've got tons of videos like this vlogs they're just kind of like my experiences uh drum covers tutorials gear breakdowns um if you have a question about any of the gear that i'm using the kit that i'm using i'll put a link to those hats uh in the description below i'll put a link to the sticks that i use below and the videos that i reference once they drop guess what they'll be linked below um but if you have any questions about you know camera lens lights anything that you see on my videos everything is linked below i'll work with sweetwater and b and h um so great partnerships there I'm thankful for that. But yeah, if you haven't already subbed to my channel, I, I encourage you to do so. Hit me up in the comments. I'll be down there if you got a question. Um, again, it's a unique Sunday. We're remodeling the sanctuary, so we're in the gym. But, you know, you can still have great church, and so thankful for that. But yeah, appreciate you guys hanging out this Sunday, and we'll see you in the next one.